Good morning. It is Friday, March 27th, the last day of our first week of online learning. And it has been a learning experience for me as well as for you. In general, I want to encourage the class that things are going well. Um, I didn't expect everything to work perfectly this first week, and it hasn't worked perfectly. But most of you have been doing a really good job of adapting, asking for help, and seeing how we can make it work. I need to encourage some of you to contact me a little bit more, and I'm going to start reaching out to students who are missing work and checking in with them to find out what's going on and how we can make this situation a little bit better. Later this weekend, I'm going to also start reaching out to students who have some missing work from before spring break and giving them instructions for what they might be able to do in some of those situations to get caught up. For today, you've got a couple of things to focus on. We've got our lecture material for today, and you guys are going to be learning more about Ohm's Law and power relationships for electrical circuits. I strongly encourage you to watch the extra videos I've been making, which show some problem-solving examples. Again, these don't completely walk you through the practice problems that we're going to be having you work on today, but they give you an idea of how to use some of the equations with different numbers and sometimes set up a little bit differently. The videos also give you more examples for how you might rearrange the equation. So as you're working on future problems or homework problems, you can refer back to some of those if you kind of struggle a little bit with the algebra. Having you guys submit your work on Blackboard on Wednesday worked well for most people. About two-thirds of the class was able to submit their work there. Some of you did have some struggles, and that's okay. Like I said, we're still learning on this. But having two-thirds of you being able to submit it that way meant that my email box was not quite so overflowing with me having troubles keeping track of who submitted what where. I will be checking in some of that work later today and trying to get you some actual feedback. This is one of the parts that I'm still trying to figure out on my side how to do. When you had the worksheets on paper, it was really quick and easy for me to jot down notes of where you missed units and things like that. Sending your work electronically, it's going to be a little bit more difficult, but I'm going to do my best and you should get some feedback on your Wednesday or Friday problem at some point this weekend. Also, I encourage you guys, if you haven't been using the keys I post on Blackboard, it's going to be even more important now since it's harder for me to give you feedback. Look at those examples for how the problem should have been solved so that you can check yourself and check your work to see, did I put down the right units? Did I come up with the right numbers? Did I do my algebra correctly? All of those things. As an online learner, you do have to take a little bit more responsibility for checking in on those things. The other thing that you need to be working on is our homework number eight on sapling. Yeah, some of you guys have kind of forgotten about sapling. And we had to focus on the in-class on learning stuff, but we have that sapling assignment. It's actually been open since before spring break, so it's been up there for a while. It was set to be due today. I'm going to actually extend that to Saturday just to give more students a chance to ask questions. I have some students who are sending in some really good questions and asking me, and just like they can text me their work for the practice problems, they can text me their work on a homework problem, and then we're able to track down why they're getting the problem wrong so that they can get that corrected. And I want to remind you again on the sapling homework, if you do use up all five attempts, you can contact me, we'll look at your work, and then I can reset the problem for you so that you'll get five more attempts. New numbers, but once we figured out how to solve the problem, then you should be able to go forward with your new set of attempts. If you have any questions or concerns at any point, please contact me. And I'm going to do my best to work with you. We're going to get through this. You're going to learn. Just keep trying and keep reaching out to me for help. You guys have a good day. And then once you've gotten your work done for my class, enjoy your weekend.